What's going on, y'all? Hope everything is well with everybody today. For everybody that's brand new, make sure y'all subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be giving y'all some value today. So I literally, y'all, today had one of the most wealthiest conversations I've ever had in my life today with my homie from Atlanta. And we went to talking about belief systems and how our belief system is everything that makes up what we manifest in the life that we create. The brother right now is um, is looking into getting a lot of stuff from overseas and creating his own brand. And literally, when I tell you that me and this dude both started out at the bottom, we both come from the same city in Michigan. He's in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm in Colorado. The brother told me, he said, bro, this dude named Nick, he said, Nick, he said, dude, you wouldn't even believe it. Nick is worth $500 million. He said, bro, and I didn't believe it until his wife proved it to me and showed me the paperwork. Said the dude is worth $500 million. And he connected with the dude. We both started off from nothing. So it amazes me as we continue to speak these things, we continue to manifest the relationships that we talked about Um the importance and the power of your relationships. Yo, you know, you've heard it probably a million times that your network is your net worth. So who you're connected to is the level that's beyond this fiat currency, this paper money. But the brother says something that that I've heard, you've heard a million times that the only reason that money is what it is is because of our belief in it. And our belief in the United States system, because we're speaking about the money here in the United States. I don't know what country y'all going to be seeing this video from. So for everybody that that believes and has an understanding of manifestations, the law of attraction. I want to show you. all Talked about not only this. Not only this, right? Fiat currency, this is paper money. Right. Not only that, but he also touched up on the United States flag. And I said. He said, what is our belief? About this country, the only reason people have have the certain level of quote unquote pride in the United States is because of what was bred into us. The only reason we believe it, this is one hundred dollar bill and that this is worth something when we go to the store is because of our belief in it. So let's take it to a greater level. I said, bro, it's about to happen. Matter of fact, it's already unfolding, but the things that the manifestations, you know what I mean? Like we talked about a lot of stuff I can't really reveal in this video, but these things are coming about. These are the things that we've been grinding for since we left Michigan. It took us two years to get to the point that we are, that we're at. Um, now it's just about connecting the dots because the same year, one brother went to Dallas, Texas. Another brother went to Atlanta. I came to Colorado. So let's let's build up on it. The question I have for a lot of people that's going to watch this video is, what is your belief? You believe that this is a $100 bill. You believe that this is worth something when you go to the store. It's just paper. They print this shit every day. They print this every day like it's nothing. The greater question I have for y'all is because we will believe and upgrade and buy these iPhones. We will upgrade and buy new shoes. We will upgrade and and even taking beautiful vacations, which I recommend because that's all about feeding your spirit, feeding your soul. A greater question I have for y'all today is what is your belief in yourself? See, when I say that, it's a, it's, it's a great challenge for some people to look in the mirror and say, don't you believe, let me ask you a question. Don't you believe that if you can play it small and you can just work a job and you can just stay in the city that you're from and you can just stay stagnant, you can stay in a house that is in your neighborhood, your, your childhood home, don't you believe that you can go move to a major city and do ma major things and manifest and attract and bring about these dreams, these big dreams, these big, these big visions? The question today is, what is your belief system? Because when I was in Port Huron, Michigan, where I'm from, and I was homeless, 
and I was fucked up and I was stuck and this was going crazy. And I was like, God, what is this supposed to mean? He was speaking to me all the time. I just had to silence the noise. I had to quiet all of the noise around me. I had to say, no, this is not who I am. There's a reason why this is happening because things fall apart to fall together. I want you to catch what I said. All of the old things have to fall apart. If you are expecting to build a mansion, but you have the land, you have the land or there's a house on that land. You want to build a beautiful mansion, a brand new home. And when I start talking about a home, I'm giving you an analogy. So feel where I'm coming from. You have to get rid of the old found. You have to get rid of the old house, the old whatever is standing on that foundation on that on that land. Things had to fall apart to fall together. Who would have knew 2016 to 18? I would have been fucked up. Because as a first time after over 30 years of my life, I was over 30 years old. My whole life fell apart, but it fell apart to fall together. And I didn't understand why. The question I have for y'all today is what is your belief system in yourself? As I'm sitting here, y'all, I'm sitting here staring at mountains in the, in the background. There's storms blowing in and out. And it's beautiful. It's fucking amazing here in Colorado. Amazing. But this isn't it. My, my visions, my dreams with these dreams and these visions, you have to be in the place with the shakers and movers. And some people would some people would say otherwise, but I know me. I know that I have to be in a place. Colorado is, I don't know, man. I can't even put it in words right now. I'm just so, I'm feeling so amazing. The question I have for y'all is y'all belief system within yourself is why don't y'all believe that if y'all can play it small and y'all can live on these lower levels, if y'all can just go work a job for somebody else to make them rich, why can't you do those things for yourself? It's not really about money. Today, I'm talking to y'all about y'all belief system. I don't, me and him had a great conversation and I'm like, dog, the only way I know how to play this game is at the top. If, if I can't play it to the highest of heights, I don't even want to fucking play this game. Some people around me that was in the past and from my hometown in Michigan and everybody that left, they see it for what it is. Like, let's play this game at the top. And those people at the at the in my hometown, I just don't understand how they want to play this game small. I don't understand that. If God sent us here, why would we not go for all instead of for a little bit? Everybody don't have to have big dreams and big visions. But today I want to ask you, what is your belief within yourself? If you were sent here. Why do you only believe that you were meant to play it small in your hometown and work a job and stay stuck and not go on vacations, living your greatest life? Make sure y'all subscribe to this channel, y'all. It's fresh. Every day you got to wake up and you got to guerrilla hustle. I'm running out of time on this video. Subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell. This video helped you out. Share the video. Like the video. Talk to y'all soon. Peace and love.